Hello, this is the Trade Site U.S. Stocks and Futures Market Preview for Wednesday, the 23rd of August, 2017. Hope you had a good trading day on Tuesday. It's been a good week, even though uh, it was kind of one of those annoying gap and go sessions on uh, on Tuesday. Not my favorite. Monday was much more appealing from my perspective, but it is what it is. The green bolt days. The futures had a nice run on Tuesday, whereas on Monday they were a little bit flatter and choppy. So, uh, you know, you make it somewhere. Here's a look at the ES front month futures contract. This is the daily chart of the S&P 500 futures form. Nothing new to say. Still right where we were a couple months ago. Uh, you know, a couple points higher than we were March 1st. It's really not much here. Uh, crude oil down 13 cents to 47.70. That's a blip. Gold was dead flat on the session. S&P cash was up 24.14. You'll see when we look at the intraday that that was with a gap, though. Everything gapped up. NDX, the NASDAQ 100 up 86.79, again with a gap. Socks up 17. Biotech's up 63. The VIX loses back a buck 84, down to 11.35. Trend 0.83, 10 day moving average still at 1.12, so that's not a signal. NASDAQ volume basically 1.6 billion shares again, two days in a row, really low. Lower than most of what we saw in August. Uh, advanced decline ratio on the NASDAQ plus 11.73, very positive. Advanced decline ratio on the New York plus 12.74. Google bounces back, saving it from cracking the lows there into that gap. Up $19.53. Apple up 2.57. Again, it was the big five once, once again. Amazon up 13.61. Netflix up 2.58. Tesla up $3.49. So the big five were up. And that's what carried the NASDAQ. TLT down 49 cents. That's the 20 year bond ETF. Goldman Sachs gains back 279, but still sitting where it's been for months. All right. Five minute chart. So, again, Monday was a lot more interesting on the stock side. Tuesday gapped up, pushed higher, and then just drifted higher. Um, the second half of the day, after the first 10 minutes, everything after the first 10 minutes was only a 10 point range on the ES. The first 10 minutes between the gap and the move got you 12 points. So more of the movement in the gap in the first 10. NASDAQ side here, by the way, note the 13 sell signal right at the close. Uh, but again, a gap up, a push, and then a drift. Gap and go sessions, never really our favorites. Uh, in terms of economic data coming out on um, Wednesday, we've got the MBA Mortgage Applications Index at 7 a.m., PMI Flash Composite Index at 945, new home sales at 10, the weekly uh, crude oil inventory is at 1030, and that's it. There's still some data left on uh, Thursday and Friday, but it's not super exciting. Remember, next week is the end of August, which is kind of the end of summer, traditionally. Uh, the end of next week will be really boring because Thursday is the end of month for the statements to print, and Friday you're leading into the long weekend for Labor Day. So anything that happens next week, I'd expect it to be Monday and then really Tuesday, Wednesday, before people start to head out. Uh, in terms of this week, though, we still have Wednesday, Thursday left. Probably not a lot of excitement on Friday in the summer. Uh, we'll see what we get. Charts as usual brought to you by eSignal. If you've not yet taken a trial of our services, feel free to do so. We will help you out for a couple of weeks. Have a great trading Wednesday.